and I think we are officially acclimatized. I'm feeling fine. Yesterday we were feeling a little out of breath. It was We were a little bit nervous about Cusco because of the everyone talking about altitude sickness and everyone does react differently, but just so you guys know, like our whole group, we were only a little bit out of breath. Our eyes were a little bit dry last night, but we've all woken up feeling fine. So hopefully it stays like this, but it wasn't as scary as I thought. I think a lot of people, they tell you all the worst that could happen but we're pretty. We feel pretty good. You feel fine this morning? Yeah, I feel fine. I went for a walk this morning. Felt good. But uh, we're going to the Sacred Valley today. That should be good. See some Inca ruins. We now have new additions to our backpacks. Little armors. Or our packers. Cute. Like the company didn't realize we we're going to be doing a few stops on the way before we head down to the Sacred Valley. And we've come out to a, an almost Christ the Redeemer type <laughs> statue. Probably half the size and not even half the size, probably tiny compared to the other one, but here it is here and it overlooks Cusco. It's beautiful. And then I'm sure the viewpoint. Wow, this is such a beautiful view. You can really just see how Cusco is in this like valley. Come to another viewpoint here in a forest and I see there's just a local family having some lunch. But I think we're gonna find some Inca sites up here. So fascinating walking through these old Inca whoa, <laughs> slipping through these old Inca ruins. This was an old temple to the Southern Cross, and just the carvings is just insane. <laughs> I keep slipping. Guys, we've just made it to the Sacred Valley. We've come to a viewing point because that's it down there. But wow. So beautiful. And we're going to be hiking up one of these mountains in a couple of days time. Will we? Yeah, because we look down the Sacred Valley. Oh. That just shows how high we need to get up. Hi. <laughs> Guys, we've just come out to a local community called Amura and we're going to be spending the afternoon here, which is absolutely incredible. We've been invited inside. We're going to have some lunch with them, maybe dress up in their traditional dress and just learn more about their culture. This is going to be a very exciting and interesting afternoon. I love doing this stuff. He's so oh, cute. Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into their house for lunch. <laughs> the roof is so much smaller. Yeah. Some bikey. It's like fried potato with vegetables. Fried potato always wins. <laughs> It's good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Is this a New Zealand thing? <laughs> I know. It's a chair. <laughs> okay. Next up is quinoa soup. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I'm like a really hip up and coming. Oh yeah, with, yeah, the, with the denim, denim jacket. jacket. <laughs> oh, you look so. You look like a guru person. You missed cute. my transformation. <laughs> So 
so cute. Yeah. Probably has the best beanie here. He does. Should I help you choose one? Yeah, I want to get one. So they make these all here, all natural as well. Let's try some beanies made right here. These are, this is llama. No, oh, alpaca. alpaca. I keep calling them llamas. How was that one? <laughs> well, do I, I was thinking, like... do, you want, do you want like a plain colored one or do you want a colored one? I think I want a plain colored one. Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. Let's just try it. And I want one with the dangly ears. Oh, this one's a bit of a tight squeeze. <laughs> Big head. <laughs> I just love how colourful the traditional, well, it's not even traditional dress, they just wear this normally. Like we every thought it would be for like a special occasion, but this is an everyday dress. <laughs> so pikey, so pikey. That was such an awesome experience. Alright, we've stopped off our road trip to get some road trip snacks. <laughs> As the locals do. Oh, okay. I might skip this one. Oh my gosh, it's like the sticks through their mouth and they still have their teeth. Oh, hello. Enjoy your uh, guinea pig. <laughs> How does guinea pig taste? Bad dog. Which, which is the best piece? I'm not doing anything like meat. Oh, really? Tastes like meat? You have to eat that as well. Oh, it's crunchy. Yeah. See ya, buddy. We've just arrived at this old Inca town and it is so cute. I love this hotel. We are completely surrounded by mountains. The place is called Oliantan Tanbo. And this is a little room for the night. It is so cool. I cannot wait to go and explore this place. So this is the last bed we have. For a couple of days. Because, by the way, guys, we are doing the Machu Picchu Inca trail hike thing. Woo! That starts tomorrow. I'm a bit nervous. Hello. Hello. You're oh just the God. cutest little thing. Oh, he's a bit grumpy. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, we're just walking around Oli and Tantambo and this has got to be the coolest town we've walked through in Peru. Yeah, super ancient. Super like, turn ancient. Turn the camera around. Have a look at that. It's so cool. Also, up here, Inca ruins, just, just there. And then we're just walking through here, got a stream, and then you just look down these walkways. It's so cool. Pizzeria, that is a good last meal. guys we have now come back to our room and I just had a shower and I made sure I enjoyed it because I don't think we're getting a shower for now what three days is it Steve? Three days. Yeah. Tomorrow we start our hike to Machu Picchu. We are very excited a little bit nervous but I think we'll be fine. I've started to pack. What they do is they actually give you these little bags and you're only allowed to bring five kilos with you including your sleeping bag. So That's two kilos. Two kilos gone. Two kilos will be the sleeping bag. And the three kilos will be what we want for the next few days. So I'm working that out now. And I need to make sure I don't forget anything. <laughs> need to enjoy this bed. I think this is going to be probably the toughest thing we've ever done. Like, yeah, because we're unfit and we just ate a pizza for dinner. And lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> this great we, last hike meal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like the Gecko's trip thing said you guys should plan for like three months. Go on hikes. You know, eat healthy, but instead, I'm pretty we sure we... went to Japan and ate a lot of fairy flour. And flew <laughs> business class here. We are really, really ready for this trip. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. But we'll be able to do it, guys. If you're watching this video and you're nervous to do it, if we can do it, you can do it. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. But we'll tell you all about our trail tomorrow and everything that we're going to get up to. But 5 a.m. wake up call. Let's do this. See you guys. A little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes made ticky tacky. Little boxes on the hillside.